In this video, I'm gonna show you the best vlogging setup for the Canon 90D and stick to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to do this on a budget. You gotta just press record. Here's the set, here's Tony. So today we're gonna be vlogging on the Canon 90D and I'm gonna completely break down this setup, but Tony and I really wanted to kind of run it through its paces today. So we're gonna be vlogging our entire workday on this vlog setup. Right now, Tony and I are just setting up some thumbnails, some product videography shots. Uh, and we're gonna be reviewing a lens. We're looking at the newer 35 millimeter 1.7 lens today. This uh, goes on the Sony a6600, but it has options to go on the Canon 90D and we'll have links and all that kind of stuff in the description. Uh, I think it's going to be a really cool lens. So we're going to be testing it out today, shooting a lot of videos, a lot of photos. Let's get into it. So the big thing with our lighting today is we want to make sure with the products that they almost look like they just stand by themselves within the backdrop we have with them. So we want to control all the lighting that's happening. So we're shutting off all the lights closing the blinds to get the best uh, lighting possible on the product. Right now, Tony and I are setting up to shoot the product photography and product videos for this lens. We just got some kind of unboxing footage and uh, we got some video of me putting the lens onto the camera. Now we're gonna get the details and so that's what we're setting up right now. Tony and I are done with the product videos, done with the product photos, and now we're testing out this lens right here on the Sony a6600. We're gonna grab some coffee, and then I'm gonna show you guys all the gear that I'm using on this Canon 90D to vlog with. It's the best setup possible. We're gonna get to that in one second. Are we in Burbank right now? We're in Glendale, technically. Glendale, yeah, all right. Yeah, we're in Glendale. We're in the Kenneth Village. Okay, we're in the Kenneth Village. Coffee Commissary is the spot we're gonna hit up. I'm an influencer in the wild. Good recommendation, Tony. I approve. Coffee commissary, Nolan Molt approved. <laughs> Off to the park. All right, let's get right into the video. So at the very core of this vlog setup, we have the Canon 90D. This camera comes in at $1,200, but sometimes, you know, this camera might be on sale. So all the links are gonna be in the description below. Make sure you check those out to find the current prices for this camera, as well as all the other gear. Now, when it comes to the audio, the, the mic is very important because when you're vlogging, if you have good audio, you're gonna stand out on YouTube because a lot of people either don't use a shotgun microphone or they use one that maybe isn't very good. And this is a great high quality shotgun microphone. It's the Rode VideoMic NTG. This is an audio test with the Rode VideoMic NTG going straight into the Canon 90D. The audio is really good and that's why we love this microphone. It's just an all around great shotgun mic. This mic comes in at $250. It's a bit pricey, but again, this is the pro best vlogging setup for the Canon 90D. So we had to throw this microphone on top of this camera because it is the best microphone for YouTubers. Supporting the camera, we have the Joby 3K tripod. And this thing's awesome because you can move it into kind of like a selfie mode, which is your classic vlog style. But you can also separate the legs, move it around, put it on a table, do a talking kind of sit and talk video, as well as just having the option to kind of like clamp it to something. Especially with vlogging, you really just need to work with what you have. So this thing really allows you to make the most out of it. And that comes in around $110. The lens that we're using for our vlog setup is the Canon EFS 10 to 22 millimeter lens. This lens can go from 3.5 uh, all the way out at 10 millimeters. And then when you zoom in to 22 millimeters, it goes to 4.5. And that's why we love the wide angle lens. Cause even if I'm holding it like this, it looks like the camera is really close to my face, but I'm still getting a pretty wide shot because of this lens. So I got my elbow right here, kind of next to my arm. And this is awesome because it's still a super wide angle. And so you can see, I'm not really holding the camera that far from me, but it's not a close up, And that's why we use these wide angle lenses for vlogging. And it's just the perfect lens for it. This lens comes in at just under $400. When it comes to buying an SD card, you definitely don't wanna just cheap out and get the cheapest one possible because this little thing is what's gonna capture all of your videos, all of your images, so you definitely want to pay some good money for a good SD card. Now this is just around $37, so it's not that expensive, and especially for 128 gigs, it's fast enough to do any of the record settings on the camera. 
you're not gonna see that little symbol that says movie stopped recording. When you put this SD card into the camera, you're gonna have no issues recording whatsoever. But my favorite thing about this SD card is that it's shock proof, it's waterproof, it's temperature proof, and x-ray proof. When it comes to finding the perfect SD card for vlogging, this one is definitely it. Now for around $30, you can pick up two extra batteries and a charger, and you definitely need that when vlogging because you might be out in a park, you might be outside, and we don't have any outlets, and so extra batteries are a must. Now, Tony and I have been vlogging all day and we're gonna continue to be making videos. And so this right here is a must, it's a power bank. And then I have this micro USB cable and I can actually charge my two batteries in my backpack while I'm shooting on my other battery. If you have a power bank, you wanna make sure that it's strong enough to actually charge your batteries. And so I have this one linked down in the description below if you wanna pick one up. So the total that this vlogging setup comes out to is $2,061.29. And without the camera, maybe you already have the camera. So without the camera, this comes out to $862.29. Now we're gonna go to the budget option where I'm gonna show you how to save $465.83. Obviously, we're still gonna keep the Canon 90D, but we're gonna start by taking off the Rode VideoMic NTG and what mic am I gonna use for a budget option? Actually, none. David Dobrik vlogs just like this. He does not use a microphone and his videos sound pretty great. And so a lot of people have actually found that the Canon 90D has really good audio straight from the camera. And this is what the mic sounds like going straight into the Canon 90D, the internal mics. It sounds pretty good, you know, and especially if you have this wide angle lens and you can get that camera, you know, close to your face like I'm holding it here, then you're not gonna get that bad of audio. It still sounds good. And if you're on a budget, this is a perfect way to go. The next thing that we're gonna replace is the lens. And so we have this cheaper 10 to 18 millimeter. The differences you're gonna see here is that this is a 10 to 22. This is a 10 to 18, so you're not gonna be able to zoom in quite as much. The other difference is the aperture. So where this was a 3.5 to 4.5, this is a 4.5 to 5.6. So you're not gonna be able to let as much light in with this one, but one of the pros is that I found this lens is completely silent when autofocusing. So if you're gonna use this lens and not use a microphone, don't do it because there's a little bit of sound that you're gonna hear from the autofocus on this lens definitely get this one because this one is completely silent. Next up, we're gonna be replacing the Joby Gorillapod with this Manfrotto tripod. So here's the budget cheaper handheld Manfrotto tripod and it has a little button right here where you can adjust and do the ball head. And so it's still perfect if you wanna use it on a table like this and adjust it. And then it's also great if you want to use it in that selfie mode. Uh, it's a lot cheaper, obviously it's not as long, but it does the job perfectly. Now for the SD card, I recommend switching down from the 128 gig option down to 64 gigabytes. That's gonna save you some money. You're not gonna have as much space to film, but it's still gonna last you all day if you're vlogging. It's still very durable. It's the same brand, same exact SD card, just doesn't have as much space. Now when it comes to the extra batteries, I still definitely recommend getting those two extra batteries with the charger. Now when it comes to the power bank, obviously this is gonna give you that extra life. It's gonna give you some peace of mind, but if you can't afford this, then definitely just be more cautious. Turn off your camera when you're not filming, and that's what you're gonna have to do when you're balling on a budget. So the total is gonna come out to around $1,550, and without the camera, that's gonna be about $350. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.